I'm John Stafford and I'm currently the owner of the Taralga Wildlife Park but I also am mayor for the Upper Lachlan Shire. We looked at buying a zoo at one stage and, and after that we then decided well we couldn't get that sale through, it fell through at the last minute and uh, we gave it a crack ourselves. When we actually bought this property, I actually bought a collection of llamas at that time from a chap that was one of the first people actually to bring llamas into the country. And we bought some llamas and a couple of guanacos, as it was at the time. And then we also had some miniature ponies. And initially it was a hobby that we hoped to um, sort of justify itself, that it would pay its own way. Uh, these days, as more and more patrons come through, as the size of the place grows, uh, it's very much a, a business in its own right. Yes, yeah, so I've always had birds right from my early days. I, I lived with my grandparents for a, a long period of time and my um, initial bird collection was housed in uh, red phone boxes because my grandfather worked for the PMG and so he would bring home um, old redundant phone boxes and we'd turn them into bird cages scattered around the yard. I wish I had those phone boxes now, they'd be worth a fortune. We've got over a hundred species of birds here and probably 500 in total. And the birds range from macaws from South America, black cockatoos are among the larger things from Australia and a few of the different species of black cockatoos. There's, very, there's many of them, yellow tails, red tails. And then we also have lots of things like honey eaters, a big range of Australian parrots, uh, the, the more colourful things. And my wife constantly reminds me that the, my passion for unusual green and grey birds isn't necessarily what the average punter wants to see. That they're after the colourful parrot or something, but yeah, it's all, it's all part of the mix. And then beyond that, we have um, a good range of Australian macropods, something I'm particularly interested in. Uh, we've got wallaroos, um, small palmer wallabies, tamar wallabies, um, little redneck patamelons, and white kangaroos. We have a couple of white kangaroos that are very, very popular. We have wombats. We've got wombats that you can get up close and friendly with, which is probably one of the biggest attractions currently that people come here specifically for. And beyond that, there's a, there's a camel and there's a lot of exotic animals like deer. That's two dingoes howling away. We've got two dingoes here that we acquired long before we actually opened the zoo. We've, we've been going for about two years now. But the dingoes, they were here for about, they're about five years old. Two girls now, a white one and a red one, affectionately called Whitey and Red. And uh, yeah, they're, they're probably my favourite animals here actually. And, well, not probably, they definitely are. Just because they're unusual, uh, they, for me, I can get up close and personal with them, play with them like you would a dog, but they're not, they don't have typical dog char characteristics in a lot of ways. I'm, as I said, you, I can get up and play with them, but after about three minutes they've had enough of me, they wander off, they're a little bit aloof, and um, so they've got very individual characteristics of, of a wild animal, but as I said, for me personally, they're quite friendly. Yeah. I really had little to do, in fact nothing to do with local politics uh, before I came to Taralga. The previous years there would always been a local person on council representing Taralga's interests as such and in the last election there was nobody sticking their hand up for it. It was suggested to me I should run for council by a couple of people and I just thought that's not really me, that's not what I'm about but uh, as time went on it became quite apparent there wouldn't be anyone standing locally and so I said look I'll do it but only if there isn't another option. On the day, the final day when you had to basically put in your, um, your application or nomination, they had to be in by four o'clock and I was in the office at ten to four with it because I waited till the death to see if somebody else would apply and the uh, end result is I got on council. You know, Teralga is in its own right booming at the moment not only because we put a lot of effort in from council's perspective but a lot of outside interests has come in and done up our wonderful local buildings and so the end result's been great. I'm, I'm pleased to be on council as such. Uh, the average day starts about six 
and in the summertime with daylight saving finishes about nine. Last night we finished at ten and so we put in very, very big days. We work seven days a week and uh, but I have no one else to blame for that but myself. That's what I stuck my hand up for. Some days in the middle of winter in Tarawa or it can get a little bit rough. Feeding in the snow, which happens occasionally here, you, you just sort of wonder why you're doing this. So like every job and every, everything that you do in life, you, sometimes you have reservations, but uh, overall we thoroughly enjoy it.